Hey, Tony here. For today's October video, I'm going to do my top 10 John Carpenter films. Now, these could be any films that he wrote, directed, or, or had any participation in. So, this is going to be a quick video. I'm just going to kind of go over these. Not too much elaboration on each film. But first up at number 10, I've got In the Mouth of Madness. Um, this right here is one that was newer to me that I had never seen before. I really enjoyed it. If you haven't checked this one out, definitely check that one out. Okay, at number nine, we have Vampires. Really good film. I really enjoyed this one. I had never seen this one before either. Um, great performances, great atmosphere. Definitely one that you'd want to watch each year for Halloween. Okay, next up, we have Village of the Damned at number eight. Um, this is another great one. I've only seen this a couple of times. Um, very creepy as far as the kids are concerned. It does almost put me in the mind of Children of the Corn in some aspects, but I really enjoyed this film. At number seven, we have Christine. I've always enjoyed this one. This is another one I saw as a kid. Um, really fun movie. Something different to check out that you don't really hear too many people talking about. Okay, at number six, we have Prince of Darkness. Um, another great movie. Really good one for the Halloween season. If you've never seen this one, definitely check that one out. Okay, at number five, we have They Live. Now, this is a film that I've only seen a couple of times. I did rewatch this one maybe two years ago around the Halloween season. All, I've always enjoyed this one for the times that I've seen it. Um, a lot of people have talked about it. Um, there's a particular scene that lasts over 15 minutes, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but I just enjoyed this one. It's not the best acting movie, but it's an enjoyable, um, fun film to watch. Okay, at number four, we do have a creepy movie, and that is The Fog. Um, this movie really sets the tone as far as um, a horror movie, the way that it looks, the acting, the characters. Um, just It was just an amazing movie. I really enjoyed that the last half of the movie um, the most, um, probably maybe even the, th the final act, but just a really good atmospheric movie. Okay, at number three. So my top three were kind of tough. Um, they're all great films to me. But at number three, we have The Thing. I've always enjoyed this one also. Just the tone of the movie. Um, the acting, the story. Very creepy. Um, just a great film. I know a lot of people have already seen this one. But definitely check that one out if you haven't. Okay, these next two are probably my top John Carpenter films, which you probably already know what these would be. Um, but at number two would be Halloween 2. Now, Halloween 2 is a movie that I've got the most fond memories of. I do remember seeing this one in the theater when it was released. I was very young, of course. Um, but back then, they would let you go in if your parents went. So my mom and dad took us to movies all the time. But I, I always enjoyed this one. What I, I think I enjoyed mostly about it was just the creepy atmosphere of that hospital. But this particular hospital seemed to be abandoned which gave it a nice creepy feel. And I also enjoyed the fact that it was a good continuation from the first film to this film. Um, I know a lot of people, I don't know, I haven't really heard many people talk highly of this one, but I do enjoy this one. And of course, number one would be Halloween. Who doesn't love Halloween? So I do remember seeing this one. I did not see this one in the film, I mean, in the theater, but I did see it as a kid. For whatever reason, I saw Halloween 2 in the theater, but I never did see this one. I actually saw Halloween 2 prior to seeing this one, which is kind of messed up. But as a kid, you don't know any better. Um, that's probably why I have such um, fond memories of Halloween 2. But Halloween is, of course, the greatest to me. It's my favorite. So once I saw this one, I, I usually try to watch both of these at the same time. You know, the same, the same watch time. Um, and just continue on with it. But Halloween is probably the my most favorite of the Halloween um, films. And who doesn't like watching this one every single year? I know that I do. Um, so please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about my top 10 John Carpenter films. Uh, give me some suggestions of ones that didn't make the cut. Um, those that didn't make the cut could possibly be in some of my other stacks during the month of October. So definitely be looking for those videos. But yeah, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about these particular titles. Let me know what you think about my top 10. 
If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and on TikTok. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, you can find me over on Letterboxd. I do have links below. But thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.